Rarely has an ITU event generated so much excitement and attention. With more than 500 delegates and dozens of TV broadcasters and journalists worldwide, as well as remote participants in all corners of the globe, the three-day gathering in Geneva is called the AI for Good Global Summit. If the summit organizers have put the emphasis on artificial intelligence for good, it's because the ITU wants delegates to take home solutions to some of the most urgent problems we face, whether they be hunger, poverty, or protection of the environment. The ITU is using its unique position as a neutral platform to bring together captains of industry, small business innovators, researchers and policy makers to harness the positive power of artificial intelligence. Developing countries can gain from the benefits of artificial intelligence, but they also face the highest risk of being left behind. This summit can help ensure that artificial intelligence charts a course that benefits humanity and bolsters our shared values. And the United Nations stands ready to be a universal platform for discussion. Now, we have to, to, to encourage innovation, and we have to create a good environment to encourage innovation. This is the time now for us to see if we all can work together to create a good platform to address those issues in front of us. And this uh, Artificial Intelligence for Good Summit uh, will be uh, good opportunities for us to come together to look at these issues. The XPRIZE Foundation's co-partner of the AI for Good Summit, it shares many of the same goals as the ITU when it comes to Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs and believes AI has a major role to play in meeting those objectives at all levels of global society. Fortunately, AI is a democratized technology. It's a technology that used to only be afforded to governments or big business, but now it's something that my son who's in college is using today off the, off the cloud. He's using AI in the, in the type of work that he's doing. It's, it's just a phenomenal progress of the technology and it's gonna be applicable to solving problems, particularly the SDGs. On the industrial side, the car industry is taking the lead, using AI to advance the day when autonomous vehicles become a reality. The know-how is already moving fast. Audi is testing its driverless cars on racetracks, but the company insists it's humans who will keep their hands at the steering wheel of ethics and regulation. It should always be our intention to use technology, let's say, for the benefit of the society. Always for the good and not for the bad. And uh, I would like to send people back with a higher level of confidence that uh, artificial intelligence, if it is treated in the right way, is really for the benefit of our customers and the society. It's not just industry that's moving ahead with AI research. Across social policy from education and health, massive benefits can be reaped. Even human rights can gain from the computer technology. It's early days, I mean, for AI in general, and AI for human rights is very, very early days. But when we think about human rights, often we only think about civil and political rights, but economic, social rights include health, education, water. So the applicability of AI for making education accessible, making health accessible and affordable is phenomenal. At this summit, there was general agreement that what is being discussed here is nothing less than the fourth industrial revolution. And that means everyone has an obligation to ensure this time we can all share and participate in the opportunities this revolution will offer.